So what we need to do, we need to check that the same application is running with the same configuration we're running the 3030 port because everything database and backend server is everything is the same same thing is happening there so let's let's have a check is it our all the records previously i have it in here <coughs> sorry so there's a seven record up to six six uh, to uh, 200 202 and seven record is there perfect working that's we expected so six zero let's have a check the application that we expect now we need to be changed at the port number because the application is now running with the port number 3030 it was the 2020 what i we explained how the overwriting how the component how the argument settings how the parameters pass it and now we need to be changed 3030 port edit and now we need to be changed 30 3030 for checking the health because this is not the API the out of API so we can change it to 3030 now it's okay so if I go there so 30 and now we can check the health <coughs> So the application is up. That's what we expected. And even though you can see the actuator, actuator information, so all the actuator components, health info, matrices, and so on and so forth. Then the all the existing records that we have it. We have six records, and then and with the pagination, then let's see we do additional additional record to put it here, like like three records. So hit. So hit seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we can we can check it. Everything is 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 properly landed to the database, and then so you see that everything is properly working. So let let's have a, the user role definitions. Something there? No, nothing there. So let's may do some test with the user role. So it, we put it the user role. So maybe two hundred k's, and then user role definition is set here. So these are the external tools. There is a role definition that we did. So you see the 101, the role one, and then we have a one on two and two, maybe two. Just like that testing, there's nothing more special. So 202, it has three and three, the roles and so on and so forth. Let's have it checked. Yeah, is that our database is, is properly landing this the role? That's, that's exactly what we expected. So simply works and you have all the crude operations and nothing more special. So this is the one of the part of the Spring JPA auditing. This is the information I need to be discuss with you later when I start the discussion with the developments. If I go to the modeling part, let me forget it. So you see that there is a uh, user registration. User registration has one too many profiles. And if you go to the user roles part, the one to one related and this is the one to many related you see the one to many relations with the user role so that means one user has a multiple roles one to many related unidirectionals and uh, the bidirectional you can do also but but we think we will discuss a bit later more how can do this the mapping part of the developments so where we are so that means we we, we, we understand how it is works, how the developments, how we start, how the deployment works, one deployment discussion, how deployment approaches works, and we checked how can override uh, your, 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 your override your application EML or properties files externally. That's the most important part uh, for this uh, this deployment, the standalone jar file deployments. It works what, what we expected. So let's go back to the our original case. So we can run the simply gstar as a little bit non-professional way, and or you can run what is a professional way to do to defining the all settings, the all the variables that we need. We need the port of the application, which port this application is running. We need which machines we are trying to put, and we need to which version we need. If you have a version number three, one dot dot three, just simply change this one and automatically deploy these new versions. That's really way to do 
and if you have a different environments you set the different environments and set the all the necessary database database parameters even if you have a custom custom settings custom variables custom values you can also set these custom values and and it works automatically i mean the customs maybe you need some extra variables to to set up you can also hear the maybe maybe you can say uh, 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 check down checker i mean sorry checker maybe the uh, checker a variable then you simply check this variable call this variable into the here the minus checker checker value are the custom values it works it's what we expected how many variables does matter and we call the variables and simply standard java jar case and set the values from these files or you can do what you are explained here you can do this way so that means we are we discuss where you can finalize okay how can if i have a standalone jar files what we created out of my projects i simply copy it i define these two files and then it's automatically that deployment team just simply uh, simply call what we, we uh, what I did. Simply call the very files. Uh, the CMD command mode just simply start the your service files and it just work out of box. And this is the part um, I will discuss with you later part. How how can you do the same deployment, same application deployment with the same jar files with the Docker and Docker Compose. So this is the if you are in the Docker environments. So if you had to simply if you look for these ones, uh, Docker files, it's very simple. So we just copy with base image from the open JDK 8 and just using simply copy the, the your jar files. Just use it like here, the simply copy your jar files and put the jar files into the container directory, in the app directory, and run the application and so on and so forth. This, this is very, very simple. So we if you have a jar files then how the you write down the docker files and then after the docker files is running then you need to be defined the docker compose files and the docker compose files very very straightforward so it's a three versions you define the service and this define the the docker volumes that i need to be discussed with you you can define here the all the all the parameters that you have but even though you can environmental variable that i will discuss a little bit later and then you have a definition with all the database and then all your application containers running so this is the image version how is create the image out of your docker docker files uh, docker files out of here so it's a very very straightforward so then out of this one if you have docker files then we have a docker files okay we have a, a docker docker based deployment with docker compose we can do it we, we already check it the standard jar file how can do it you can do it to docker docker compose and then you can also do it uh, uh, do it uh, the kubernetes that's i and this is the main intention to this 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 tutorial so this 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 demo or this screencast so kubernetes has a different idea so it has exactly the same uh, docker files just simply copy paste your jar files and then uh, what do they do and then after that you have a jar file then you need to be defined with all the uh, the con the your 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 config maps and then all the your your credentials and so on so forth all credential informations and then you have have database deployment informations, uh, deployment and service indefinitions. That's the thing that I said. I will discuss one by one. So that's don't don't worry. You don't need to understand everything, but I will try to best to 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 share with you. And this is our final applications uh, deployments. That's that's I need. And those are here new uh, in, the, in the Docker and Docker Compose or Kubernetes. Just follow my last screencast. There's a really detailed discussion. Uh, I discussed many examples and many tutorials with that one. How can you configure? How can write really proper way to to configure write proper way as a standalone jar configuration? You can have to write down your standalone uh, proper write down in the Docker files and in Docker Compose files and the, all the co config files and also the uh, your 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 config and credentials and deployment files. That's things I discussed a little bit later for this one. So just follow the steps what i discuss how it is works and how can deploy on different way and doing and that's the thing you need to be think about you need to understand those things together 
So, so now I can say bye bye, goodbye.